It's the Daily Dog. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Daily Dog. Thanks for being with me today. You have arrived on a Friday, my friends, and I have you covered. It is a Masterpiece Friday, and I am excited to get back to one of my all-time favorites from the band Yes for a second time. We're looking at Awaken, and I am happy that you are here. So this is gonna be a live version of Awaken led by John Anderson and backed by the Icelandic band, Todd Mobile. And uh, this band is backed with an orchestra and a choir. I, um, I first listened to Awaken on my channel in episode 176, and I published it on July 2nd. 2021 so it has been over a year and a half since i have heard this song and y'all i had this memory i have had this memory uh that has been sticking in my head of not liking this song as much as other yes songs that i've heard well i went back uh i went back last night and i rewatched my reaction and i was pleasantly surprised by myself <laughs> Uh, I was surprised to find that I actually really did like the song. The only thing that I really didn't like was this little guitar lick at the very end of the recording. And that put me off a little bit because I didn't think that it belonged compositionally in the piece. And so uh, since my reaction to Awaken was, was released, uh, I have been inundated y'all, with requests to hear Awaken in this new setting performed live in 2013 in Iceland uh, as John joined Todd Mobile with the backing orchestra in concert, and this was recorded on November 15th of 2013. So today's episode is a revisited episode of sorts. I am returning to this classic song for the second time, and I am excited to have a sponsor along for the ride. I am excited to say thank you to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this episode. Uh, like most people, sleep is very important to me. I am a morning person, and I have always liked to go to bed relatively early because if I don't get at least seven good hours of sleep, I am not at peak Doug level, friends. And here's the, uh, the thing, uh, we got a new mattress back in 2007, which was before this new wave of technology with mattresses. And so we were kind of overwhelmed with how to go about choosing our new mattress. And I am so glad that we turned to our friends at Helix Sleep. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. And they have a short online sleep quiz to match your body type and sleep preferences. They also factor in the preferences of your partner so that you can find the best match for both of you. Based on my results, uh, y'all, Helix matched us with their Midnight mattress. It's their most popular model and it fit us because we are both uh, side sleepers and we like uh, a medium firmness to our uh, mattresses and so we selected the midnight lux model and it's awesome y'all the lux has six layers instead of four and we selected the version that has the uh, glaciotex cooling cover it's amazing it's cool to the touch and the coolness helps regulate our temperature throughout the night uh, this Lux model also has the enhanced lumbar support that we need. It's great for people like me who have uh, chronic back pain. We have had our Helix Sleep mattress for about four months. And I have, I am serious, y'all, I have never slept better than I have slept these last four months. It is soft, but it is so supportive. And I don't wake up in the morning with an achy back anymore. It's amazing. Uh, plus, it was really easy to purchase it uh, via their website. Uh, we also got their basic frame and foundation to go along with the mattress. Uh, here you can see how easy it was for us to put together the frame and the foundation. Everything was incredibly easy. It just took a few minutes. Uh, once the frame and foundation were in place, we placed the mattress right on top and simply just set it free, and it was ready to go in no time, y'all. Uh, and no tools required. 
uh, just absolutely easy to put together and everything came to us via courier right to our door. I am so thankful to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video and they have a special deal for all of you, my viewers. Uh, I absolutely love my Helix mattress, y'all, and I think that y'all would too. Uh, if you are looking for a new bed, check out Helix. You can click the link below or go to helixsleep.com dot com slash helvering to get 20% off of your helix mattress plus two free pillows with your helix sleep mattress you will get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 10 year warranty and there are financing options with flexible payment plans something that is actually hard for me to do with my new mattress is actually awaken <laughs> <laughs> but John and Todd Mobile are going to help me do just that. And I have my trusty coffee in my daily Doug mug today. So I am ready to go. Uh, as I uh, read in for this specific performance, I did not find much information on, uh, on uh, Todd Mobile and the specific musicians that were involved in this performance. But everybody tells me that it is beautiful and it is worthy. So let's dive in, friends. Awaken written by John Anderson and Steve Howe, performed here by John Anderson and Todd Mobile in 2013. Here we go. slower than the album version. Beautiful. Mostly black keys. You see where his hands are way up on, uh, in that part of the fingerboard? I've never been to Iceland. I've always wanted to go. That place is really intriguing. There's John. Man, what a concert this would have been to be at. steps. Beautiful. Lands on that major chord. Wish the sun to stand still, reaching out to our all being. Thank you. 
good guitar plan in this Steve though, y'all. It's, I mean, everybody has their own way of interfacing with their instrument, right? And Steve has a special touch. that he calls the master of our existence. It's spiritual without being overtly religious, right? Just the five. It's a hair slower, and it's mixed so well, I think I can hear the um, intricacies of the performance even better than on the um, original studio recording. Now that theme over a major chord instead of over a minor chord. I remember. Big section is so circular and affirming. Warmth of his being, his promise for his singing, his reaching, his for his seeing, his reaching so clearly. And again, John's doing this, right? It's around the entire circle of fifths. It goes through every single one of our 12 different chromatic pitches, all in a fifth relationship. It's treating all of them equally. circle of fifths, y'all. All inclusive. All around the clock. sounding organ. I don't think they have a church organ in there like before. settled back on E flat, which is where we started. Beautiful. 
individual strings cascading. saying it. It's just breathtaking. Gone. I'm surprised they haven't given more of this to the orchestra to, to, to spread out the sound. Really true to the organ. And there's the choir. E 
minor where we've been a lot of the time. It's not done, bro. Just like the beginning. Individual voices, individual strings. Wish the sun to stand so warm. Wish the sun to stand still, reaching out to touch our own being, past all mortal as we. Here we can be. never about the individual. I think our life makes more sense when we consider ourselves as part of a community of humans and not as an individual. We never do anything by ourselves, really. We're, we're informed by our experiences and the ideas we come across and the people we meet. even done he was reacting I, I can't believe that I get to sing this <laughs> in this setting and it sounds so great wonderful wonderful thank you you're welcome I must say something I am so happy to be with uh, this wonderful band and of course the Makes me want to just look at the entire concert. <laughs> Cancel all my plans. There's a concert to listen to. That was glorious, friends. Absolutely glorious and perfectly matched for one of our Masterpiece Fridays. <clears throat> um, it's a cover, obviously, right? But it's a darn good one. And, and who can, I mean, and who can deny John Anderson singing on a song that he co-wrote? And if you're going to do a cover, get the original guy to sing it if you can, especially if it's John Anderson. Um, as I read in on this, John has said some glowing things about this performance. He said, um, spending time in Iceland with such warm and, uh, and wonderful people never escapes my memory. To be able to perform with such powerful and musically magical people in Symphonia Nord will live with me forever. So many fans have told me over and over that the version we did of Awaken is the best ever version live, best ever. It's hard to it's it's hard to argue with that, y'all. Uh, and then he says, and I thank you, uh, Todd, and all of our friends there in that mystical place known as Iceland. It looks mystical. Y'all, um, uh, it looks like a fantastic place to explore, and the people there seem just to be um, wonderful and nice people. Um, the only thought that I have uh, now, after hearing this, uh, and you know, it's it's early March two thousand twenty-three, right? It is sad to me, y'all, that uh, with with John and Steve and Rick uh, still with us, that they aren't uh, pooling their resources as yes. It's just sad to me. I am just now starting to get into some of the backstory uh, of how and why the band broke up. And I'm not quite ready 
to uh, to weigh in with my own thoughts. Uh, I'm I'm still just figuring out <laughs> what I think about it. But I do know this: uh, when I hear John Anderson sing, it's moving every single time. Uh, just an absolutely classic uh, voice, uh, and I think it's a shame that that John, who is actively touring in 2023. And Rick, who is actively touring in 2023, and Steve, who will be on tour in just a few months with the current Yes lineup, um, it's just it's just a shame to me that they're not performing and making music together. And I'm sure there are many, many reasons why it's not. But I hold out hope that such a performance or a tour can happen uh, while they're still able to perform. You know that that that's where I am. And uh, I just uh, want the best for all of them. Uh, you know, the people that have been in this band, especially the classic folks, you know, from, from back in the, in the 70s, the original musicians and then some of the classic lineup, those folks, there's just something about the synergy between uh, those musicians. And they created such lasting and beautiful and unique music uh the these people and uh all these years later it's able to be uh, resurrected and performed uh glowingly by people uh that aren't associated with the band but but john comes and sings with them and it's it was absolutely glorious i loved all of that i um, may, maybe uh, the the real church organ, the real pipes, could could have uh, put it over the top, but I'm I'm gonna take it, y'all, and that was really, really beautiful, and I am uh, I'm really happy to have been able to listen to it. Finally, uh, we'll we'll do these revisited uh, episodes occasionally, where I go back and take a peek, a second look or a third look at some of these really big uh, classic songs that I have reacted to previously and awaken is definitely worthy of such treatment so wonderful to be here with all of you uh listening to awaken led by john anderson and backed by uh, todd mobile and an orchestra and a choir absolutely wonderful y'all but that is all for today i thank you for being with me and we will see you next time on another edition of the daily dog <laughs>